I was just going for a walk when I realized there was a message for me. When I took out the message and started reading it, it was uh, giving me the message that 25,000 rupees was debited from my account. I was just thinking what was the check I issued for this 25,000 and uh, when did I make this transaction. Within a couple of seconds, another 25,000 got debited from my account. Then I became a little uh, nervous. I started wondering uh, where did I issue 50,000 uh, uh, rupees for my investment or for my expense. When I was trying to recollect this, 50,000 rupees got debited again, which amounted to 1 lakh rupees within a single minute. I really got perplexed. I got nervous and I started recollecting what happened to my account. Then I checked my wallet. My debit card was very much with me. And how did this amount get debited when my debit card is with me? Then I started recollecting what was the transaction I was making by swapping the debit card in a day from today earlier or a week earlier. I'll tell you the answer for this in the slides as it goes to because I want to realize that what are the frauds and what are the uh, cheatings which happen on the debit card. I'll run you from uh, one by one and tell you what happens, what you should be careful about with your hard-earned money so that you are not cheated, you are not a victim of fraud and activity. The first and the foremost is we usually try to hand over our debit card when we are trying to do a payment during the time when we visit a petrol bank or a hotel. The waiter tries to take the debit card to the lobby where he has got a, a debit card machine and he swipes it and our amount gets debited. Now there is every moment in this scenario that a fraudulent thing can happen. What the waiter can do or the hotel manager can do is just copy the digits in your debit card and also the CVV number which is at the back of your debit card which is the most important password for doing a transaction internet through your debit card. Okay, so. There has been a number of instances where debit cards were having amounts debited because of this type of transaction people enter into. So how you should avoid this? Now what you have to insist is ask the waiter to get the debit card machine directly to where you are sitting. Okay, that is number one. So he swipes the debit card in your presence and you will see that he is not reading the numbers also. Number two, nowadays because of the technology advancement, you have a Wi-Fi through which the debit card can just be kept over the debit card machine and that immediately gets your payment. So try not to insert your debit card and put the password as much as possible. So this is the first and the foremost uh, you know, thing you have to remember if you want to save card from any fraud of the debit cards. Okay, number two. We go to an ATM machine to swipe the debit card and get cash out. You should remember two things. One, whether the ATM center is belonging to your bank because that's the most secure bank which you are trying to deal with. Second thing is, is the ATM center guarded by any watchman or a security guard? This is very, very important because the guard is there to safeguard not only the ATM machine but also from people who are trying to meddle with the ATM machines. Okay. Now, once you try to do these two things, I think then I think it's fair enough for you to enter an ATM machine which is secured enough for you to do a transaction. Now, when you go inside, once again, there is a tip. There are so many people who try to insert some machine which can completely take your debit card numbers and also the ATM pin number when you punch over it. There has been umpteen number of instances where the fraudulent thing happens that you go out taking your cash and forget that you have swiped the machine in this particular ATM center. But the thing is the fraudulent people will remove the machine after your transaction is over and then they are able to produce or manufacture a debit card with the same number and the ATM and they will start doing transactions from your account and your account will just be swiped out to zero within no minutes. So what you have to do in this scenario? So what you do is when you go to the ATM center, try to punch random numbers before you start inserting the card. Then after you put the password and the money comes out, once again try to punch random numbers so that the machine gets confused with the number of uh, transactions you do or number of punches you do on the machine. Right? This is number two. The third one is these days, these days, you know, you have lot of uh, purchases done from Amazon or Flipkart or any online transaction. Never store your details of debit card in your internet platforms. 
because there's a lot of hacking going on and which will try to see that some of the hack your numbers who are doing uh, frequent transactions and they completely empty your account so never store it take the pain of putting your net banking or your debit card details on the day when you are transacting it the best suggestion in this scenario could be you know what you try to do a ptm uh, this one ptm transaction or never try to uh, do a debit card storage of these numbers which is what i'm trying to say okay now the fourth tip which i want to say is there could be many telephones uh, calls coming from the banks telling that they are telephoning from the bank and they want to actually convey your uh, ask your kyc details to be confirmed they will try to lure you and try to tempt you saying that you need not come all the way to the bank for uh, giving this you just try to uh, uh, convey all the information about your debit card and your account uh, uh, things over the telephone this is where the fraudulent happens they start taking all your particulars including the debit card numbers and the cvv and then they start doing the fraudulent activities many people have become a victim of this fraudulent activity my dear friends so what you need to do is you have to make yourself alert that once he asks you the number of the debit card the numbers which are there on the debit card or the cbv number you should immediately get alerted that this is a fraudulent activity no bank official or bank call center will ask you this particular information now another tip for this is the elders in the house your parents or grandparents or whoever is there they also might be having accounts when the call comes to them directly and when such an information is conveyed to them that the kvc details if you don't give your account will be blocked it will be freezed so the aged people will become even more nervous and agitated so what they say is out of the emotional uh, trauma they will try to tell out the debit card number and the cvv number which is what uh, the fraudulent people are waiting for so alert them that they should not be revealing the numbers on the debit card or the cvv number under any cost from whatever the phone that comes from either the bank or from a third party this is a very important aspect because many of the senior citizens have lost their complete account balances by these fraudulent activities so please alert not only yourself but all the all the members of the family restraining from um, uh, you know giving all these details over telephone the fifth one is very very uh, important with us mean a technological advancement cardless payments or withdrawals now even if you go to the atm when i was saying that the debit card uh, uh, numbers are being tracked with a machine and the atm passwords when you punch are being recorded there's a way out how you can do it these days all the atm machines are provided with a, ca- a cardless transaction so you don't need to insert a debit card for taking your money out all it requires is you need to have a registered mobile number where the otp comes and once you confirm the otp you can take the money out try to do this sort of you know transaction so that your debit card details are not revealed in any machine or in any physical format not only that try to start adopting paytm phone pay and google pay in this aspect so that your card details are not divulged to any external parties this is a very important tip and try to start uh, you know imbibing these modern methods so that it is for your own security and your own safety because end of the day it's all our hard earned money which is there in the bank which should not be robbed or stolen by a third party who has got malafide intentions so these are very very important aspects which you should remember when you are operating your debit card or your credit card for the matter right now i'll come back to the first scenario which i was just which i was saying so 1 lakh money money of 1 lakh has come debited to my account then i was sure that my debit card was uh, actually uh, stolen or rather uh, copied by a machine and that would have been replicated to take the money out of my uh, bank account now when i recollected that i was re- recollecting the complete scenario that it went into an atm center which did not have a security card and i took the money because of my emergency and this is where the machine was installed in the atm center which has completely copied my debit card details including my uh, debit card numbers and the cbv number also including the password which i punched it so what i did was immediately i telephoned to the customer care and said that this is what has happened and i need to lodge a complaint on that so the customer care has advised me to uh, go to the uh, branch of the bank and convey this so i went and i conveyed to the bank that this is what has happened 
they gave me a form they filled up the i filled up the form and handed uh, handed it over to the bank now the thing is you need to take the pain of waiting for the customer care which was at least 20 to 30 minutes and convey this as information so that your debit card is blocked from that number one number two you should also take the pains of going to the branch of the bank to see that you lodge a complaint the moment the complaint is lodged, the process is that the bank will start investigating whether this is really a fraudulent activity. And if they are convinced within 30 days, at the end of 30 days, your amount whichever has been stolen from your bank account is recredited in your account. This has happened to me, my dear friends. All the, the complete 1 lakh has come to, back to my account on the 30th day because i took the pains of complaining at the customer care blocking the debit card and also went to the uh, bank branch giving a complaint in writing and they started an investigation immediately and on the 30th day i was able to get my money back now i know that many of my friends with whom i will discuss this particular instant 90 percent of the people do not complain about this loss to the bank this is where you are having a problem. It is your money. So you need to take the pains of calling the customer care, first of blocking your debit card from any fraudulent activity further. Then go to the branch. You need to wait there. Definitely, you will have some time, about half a day wasted for this. That is worth it because it's your, your money which is lost. You need to get it back. So see that you meet the bank official, write the complaint in the form which they have given you and submit it and follow with them and then you will get your money back at any cost. So friends, this the main point that I want to uh, just convey to you that uh, you need to take charge of how to be safe with your debit cards and try to say that, um, you know, uh, try to um, propagate this idea to your uh, friends and relatives so that they are also, uh, you know, uh, handling the debit card with that more safety and no fraudulent activities are, uh, are done on your debit card and you are not a victim of any of the cheating activities. This is technically called skimming. Okay, this is called skimming and phishing in the technical banking language where your debit card is fraudulently copied and some third party is making a transaction on your debit card without your knowledge. Okay friends, so I hope this uh, information was informative to you, useful to you. Thanks for watching this video and if you like this video, subscribe uh, to my channel and hit the bell button. I'll come out with more and more interesting uh, episodes like this so that you are safe. You are happy and you are rich. Thanks. Bye.